Hey everyone, Will here from my flea market finds for October 11th, 2020. Um, some really good stuff to show you this week. Uh, it was a ton of sales. The weather uh, cooperated and uh, the flea markets were packed. Uh, lots of people were having yard sales. Uh, it was a good weekend to be a picker. Um, some good things to show you. Not a ton of stuff, but uh, some good quality stuff. Uh, let me show you what I got. First up, uh, it's a uh, Alice Pack U.S. Military uh, backpack. Uh, I don't think they're using these anymore. Pretty sure they're not. Uh, this older uh, U.S. Military stuff from the uh, 70s and 80s is starting to be a pretty good collectible. Uh, and you can still find a lot of it uh, when you're going out. Uh, picked this up for $15. Uh, my son took it off the frame. He was cleaning it up a little bit. We'll probably put this on uh, eBay today. Uh, you can tell the snaps. I mean, it's like brand new. Uh, the lining, waterproof lining, is not worn at all. Uh, this should bring around $150. Of nice piece. Some kind of uh, magazine pouch made by uh, Tactical Tailor, might be for a radio or something, uh, two bucks, uh, these can go for pretty good money, uh, the Tactical uh, Tailor stuff. Uh, shoes, I really hate, I really try to stay away from buying shoes and clothing, it's just not my thing, I know lots of people make money, uh, good money doing it, uh, but sometimes the deals are too good, here's Nike Air, Brand new, and uh, five bucks uh, for the pair. Got those pair of uh, Harley Davidson uh, boots. Love the flames. Uh, they were ten. Uh, two pairs of uh, Rocky uh, boots, uh, the steel toe and composite toe. Uh, they were asking eight a piece. I got the pair of them for fifteen. These, uh, we've already listed these actually in the eBay store. Um, there we have them listed for uh, 90 a piece. My wife got herself a, a really nice uh, coach purse, brand new, unused. Uh, she wasn't cheap, it was 50 bucks, but uh, she's happy with it. I picked up a uh, flute looks in really good shape. I'm not really a uh, musical instrument person, but uh, this is a uh, Yamaha uh, model 225S2, and paid 20 bucks, and that should bring around uh, 200 or so pack of uh, screws for my uh, keeping the workbench um, 50 cents on those uh, some more motorcycle stuff nice uh, leather um, jacket USA bikers dream apparel uh, that was 10 bucks not sure what that'll bring Love the little uh, brush. It's been around a long time you know, from the age on it. Probably just uh, keep it in my workshop as a little brush to use. Uh, that was like uh, a buck on that. A uh, piece of Roseville pottery. Great shape. No chips or cracks. Uh, you always got to be careful of uh, reproductions on these, but uh, I'm pretty, pretty uh, confident this is an original. You can see by the uh, dirt ground into the uh, to base uh, the uh, marks over here uh, lead me to believe that uh, this is all original uh, we'll look up that number at uh, 1UR-8 um, will probably tell us what the uh, pattern is um, on that be able to uh, find out its value but uh, 20 bucks is a great deal for that piece of 
what I think is uranium glass. Uh, it's got a uranium glass always has that glow to it. Uh, it's cool stuff. Uh, we'll put a black light on it and see how it does, but uh, pretty sure that'll light up when we put a black light on it and uh, get some pictures of it and see how that does. Add five, and I got it for three. A uh, executive residence of the White House uh, keychain key fob. Um, it's weird stuff like this that can bring really good money. Pick that up for $2. Uh, who knows what that'll bring. Cast iron bottle openers. Uh, I've had a good uh, run on these lately. Um, lots of collectors for uh, bottle openers out there. And uh, this one's in really good shape. Uh, paid five bucks on that. One of my favorite pieces. Uh, this is from the 1913. This is the 50th anniversary of uh, uh, the Battle of Gettysburg. Um, it's in great shape. It wasn't cheap. Uh, the guy, the guy said his mother bought it for him back in the 70s for a hundred dollars. Uh, he was gonna, he was asking 50. I gave him 50. Looked them up. There's not too many of these around, actually. Uh, found one that sold like nine years ago for uh, two and a quarter. Um, I'm gonna put like three and a quarter on this and uh, see how it does. But uh, really cool piece. Um, in great shape. I uh, bought a couple a uh, knife and a hatchet. Got the knife for a buck. Got the hatchet for two bucks and uh, my son's going to take these and uh, uh, make some new handles for them. Uh, that's a not quite sure who makes that. Uh, made in Germany though so it's a good blade. And uh, the hatchet uh, we'll see how he does putting a tear all that duct tape off and uh, put a new uh, maybe wood wood handle on there um, give them something to do see how they turn out uh, moving on a uh, little uh, fly tying vise uh, that was three bucks a uh, couple of uh, spiderware uh, pullovers they were uh, five a piece. Uh, Brighton ten fifty cents. Got a couple pieces of Brighton that'll uh, uh, go in there. Uh, Gucci glasses. Hope they're Gucci. They seem like pretty good quality. Uh, they were uh, five bucks on those. Um, nice uh, retro look to them. Uh, emergency first aid pen, enamel, got that for a buck, some kind of uh, navy pen, I've tried to uh, put a loop on that and see, it's got some writing underneath of the anchor, Let's see what that says, uh, got them for five piece. Uh, New York World's Fair, plate 1965, always lots of collectors for World's Fair. I uh, got a Packard uh, belt buckle and belt. Uh, looks like it's been around forever. Five bucks on that. It's been definitely worn to death. A uh, little cheap plastic necklace that says Zulu Warrior. Uh, it's so unusual and weird. I took a chance on it for a buck. A couple Linux uh, turtles, uh, six and four. Some more turtles. It looks like uh, abalone shell, um, sterling turtles. Really neat, nice looking pieces. Uh, six on those. Uh, Weiss uh, rhinestone pen. Ten on that. A uh, I don't know what that is underneath there. It looks like some cocktail uh, swords or something. But uh, Miller beer uh, bullion pen. A patch that was three three dollars on the uh, 
belt buckle, made in Mexico. A uh, pair of uh, Zuni uh, Southwest uh, earrings, very distinctive. Uh, that was uh, three bucks on that. Uh, rabbit's foot from the El Cortez Hotel and Casino downtown Las Vegas. Always collectors for old casinos and Vegas stuff. Uh, enamel, kind of a cloisonne piece. Uh, we'll definitely take it off this plastic card and uh, get some good pictures of it. Uh, tell you the truth, uh, it, it, I have two stores on e on uh, eBay, the jewelry and the regular stuff, and the jewelry has been doing great lately, uh, better than the regular store. Um, so I'm probably going to start concentrating more on the jewelry side. Um, sign jean um, brooch five dollars on that uh, Danbury mint um, these are the four seasons spring, summer, winter, fall paid uh, six dollars for those but uh, they really don't bring a whole lot they only bring around fifteen dollars or so uh, for the set I thought being Danbury Mint might uh, might make them more collectible, but uh, uh, some things, uh, no matter what they are, they're just not worth much. Uh, we got uh, one. No, that's not good. Where'd it go? Uh, so one. Two, three, four, five, six pieces. Got them for three dollars a piece. Uh, let me go over them. Uh, this is a um, gold filled, uh, hand engraved um, bangle. And uh, really well done. It is uh, monogrammed. Found one on eBay, made by the uh, the same uh, company, and that went for um, 175. Uh, with this one being monogrammed, I'm thinking 150. I mean, 125. The uh, Sterling Seahorses, really neat. Well done by uh, jeweler here in uh, Baltimore. Marked uh, Carl Carl Scon and uh, nicely done. Um, they even have a little curve uh, to them uh, for going around the wrist. Uh, that's about a uh, eighty to a hundred dollar uh, bracelet right there. Uh, he did a lot of seahorse stuff. I even heard that he took uh, real seahorses and poured um, silver over top of them. Kind of a weird thing. Love the uh, bar pen here. It looks like a picture of um, Queen Victoria, which would make this from the 1800s. Uh, looks like gold to me. We'll have to uh, to test it. it. It isn't marked, but a lot of times uh, gold from the 1800s um, isn't marked. Um, so we try to clean it up a little bit. Looks like it had maybe something attached here and here. Maybe it had like a something dangling beneath. I don't know. But uh, really cool piece. Um, definitely has some age to it. Uh, below it is the little other bar pen. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if those are diamonds and an opal. And once again, it is unmarked, but uh, we'll have to test that and see if it comes back as gold. Uh, good chance it is. 
and another one with the opal again little stick pin and uh, that one um, once again is unmarked but uh, I got a feeling that could be gold and a little uh, crucifix um, made in Germany ebony wood uh, a cool piece a little bit of damage to the uh, hook up here but nothing uh, nothing too bad I uh, picked up a rifle scope brand new uh, still in a box this is the oculus never really heard of it before but uh, it's brand new in a box looked it up they bring around $260 uh, so uh, yeah paid 30 so probably get around 150 for it just guessing uh, picked up some temptations uh, cookware uh, that was uh, eight dollars for everything here the three bowls with covers brand new nice uh, holiday uh, poinsettia pattern uh, Dior some kind of game I think it's checkers or chess five bucks it's never been used love the old uh, dumbbell um, you can take off individual weights uh, five bucks on that great uh, display piece uh, a couple Wagner wear uh, roasters these things people love these um, they uh, they always sell well 20 bucks for the uh, for the pair of them and uh, uh, that's probably a hundred dollar pot right there not sure on the smaller one but uh, great size a uh, aerial photo of the Baltimore copper smelting and rolling company um, never even knew we had this around here um, but uh, looks like it was down uh, Sparrows Point but uh, not quite sure where that is monthly capacity 60 million pounds of refined copper wire bars cakes ing ingots etc uh, quite the operation I never even knew it was here in Baltimore um, what it's worth I don't know I paid five bucks for it uh, last piece to show you uh, went to yard sale and uh, we were looking at this lady offered it to us for uh, twenty dollars and the last thing we really need is another project but uh, it is a cool piece uh, the lady said it was her uh, piece of furniture when she was a child uh, this piece is probably from the 50s 40s 50s I would guess kind of small lots of small drawers uh, my wife got an idea we might be able to use it for jewelry maybe put some uh, dividers in there I love the uh, original drawer pulls I took one off here um, with the uh, molded in threads and the uh, the little uh, holder inside there these just uh, screw in great idea I don't know why they don't uh, make drawer pulls like that now um, but cool piece we are going to get it uh, fixed up and uh, um, We'll, uh, I'll show you some pictures of it when it comes back. So there you go. Keep an eye on the store, Terminal 99, which is where a lot of this stuff will be appearing. Um, a lot of listening, as usual. Uh, but uh, now's the time of year to uh, find the stuff. So until next time, it's Will Yard Sales Vivalist. We'll talk again soon.